Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to play the lead guitar parts from the power metal classic Mirror Mirror by German band Blind Guardian. Uh, this guitar lesson comes as a special request from YouTube user X. Hello? I have no clue if I'm saying that right, but anyways, thank you for your request. Um, it was fun putting this together. So the way this is going to work is I'm just going to play each section of the song um, and then I'll break each section down for you and show you exactly how to play it on the guitar. Um, also, several years ago, uh, my buddy and I actually covered this song on our channel, uh, well, my channel here. Uh, and I have a link to that video in the description below. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, but before we get too excited, actually, we should probably um, talk about the tuning, just as Chris Zupa would say. <laughs> so... Um, for this particular song, you're going to have your entire guitar um, tuned down just one half step. Um, so your uh, strings are going to be uh, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, D flat, uh, excuse me, E flat. Um, but throughout the video, I'm going to re just refer to the strings as as though they were in standard tuning because that's easier for me. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. First off is the intro. I'll play through it and then break it down for you. Here we go. So for the first bit of that, um, it's rock and metal 101. We're just playing three string, three note power chords consisting of the root, the fifth, and the octave. And you're gonna move that shape just around the neck. So uh, for the first bit, you start on the uh, sixth fret of the low E string, play that power chord, and then shift down to the fourth fret of the low E string and go back up to the sixth fret. All right, then for the next bit, we're jumping with that same power chord shape to the third fret of the A string. Play that once, then jump up to the fourth fret. Back down to the third, then back up to the fourth. So that's... So all together. Also, I'm throwing just a touch of vibrato on those power chords, Tony Iommi style, because I feel like that spices it up and makes it sound like it's got a little more attitude. Um, okay, so after that power chord section, we go straight into the first melody of the song, um, which is very simple, but what separates the men from the boys with something like this sort of lick is your vibrato, um, your articulation, you know, things like slides and your phrasing. So don't play it like a robot. Um, you know, don't go. You know, I'm, if you watched me play it earlier, I'm. Um, using slides and vibrato um, to just spice it up. But anyway, so that starts out on the G string, 10th fret, you're gonna slide up into that, play it twice, and then you're gonna play the eighth fret, go back up to the 10, 11th fret, all on the same string, back down to the eight, sorry, <laughs> 10 again, 10 again, eight, 10 again, slide down. So that all together is and then you do it again. Alright? Now the last bit of the intro is a variation on that. 
um, that riff. It's gonna start in the same position, same string. So the first bit, you're gonna play 10 on the G string again, but you're gonna cut it off. Like you're not, so you don't play, you do like that. Uh, just throw, throw some staccato in there and make it uh, sound kind of choppy, I guess. All right, so after you play those two notes, you jump up to the B string, ninth fret, eighth fret, hammer on back to the nine, pull off to the eight. All right, so. All right, then we go back down the G string, hit the eight and the 10. All right, so all together, that's. And then we're going to slide into the 10th fret of the D string. Then you're gonna play, so 10, eight again on the G string. Jump back down to the 10th fret on the D string. Excuse me, that's not the 10th fret. That's the 11th fret, I misspoke. That's the 11th fret, sorry. Then you're gonna play 10th fret. So all together there we have. And then all that's left is. So that right there is eight on the G. And then uh, 11, 10, <laughs> 11, 10, six on the D string. So all together. All right, and then you play that again. So that's the intro. Uh, now it goes into the verse. So I will play that for you once and then we'll break it down. Here we go. All right, so this first riff in the verse is a little busy. It's kind of a got a gallopy, thrashy feel. Um, it starts with this little phrase. Sorry. So to do that, you're gonna play the um, sixth fret here on the G string. You're gonna go down to the D string, palm mute the eighth fret, and you're gonna do this quick little gallop pattern like slowly it's like so like that you're going to do that twice so it's all together okay so after you do that uh you jump back up to the sixth fret in the g string to play this uh simple little so all that is all that is is pick the sixth fret Hammer on to the eighth fret. And then pick, sorry, yeah. And then play the uh, fifth fret on the G string. Then you go back up to the sixth fret on the G string. And then you're gonna do that gallop again. So from the beginning, slowly. Um, yeah, so get that really tight. Um, and then I think it goes right into the next part. Okay, so yeah, it jumps up to now. Um, you're gonna be doing more palm muted, sort of quick 16th note gallopings uh, on the D string, but this time at the 11th fret. So the second half of this riff is so the way that works is you're going to start with palm muting the 11th fret on the D string, doing that little gallop again, jump up to 
10th fret on the G string. And then um, you're gonna play two hits on this muted uh, 11th fret. So, and then you're gonna jump up and play the uh, eighth fret here on the G string, jump back down to the D and hit the two muted 11, uh, 11th fret, uh, 16th notes. You see a pattern here. Then you're gonna uh, hit the 11th fret open on the D string. So, then you hit uh, the 10th fret on the D string hit those muted 11th fret uh, 16ths again. And then play the 8th fret again on the G string. And then uh, you're just gonna end with. So you know that sequence from the intro. It's uh, 11, 10, six on the D string. So all together. Sorry, I was a little sloppy, sorry. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So the idea there is you're basically playing, you're playing that melodic phrase with the in between, uh, which gives it that aggressive thrash you feel. So I'll play that whole riff start to finish. All right, so then we're going to jump up to this melody that's going to take place entirely on the uh, B string. Sorry. So for this first part, you're going to slide into the 11th fret, all in the B string, by the way. Hit 11, 13, 14. Okay. And for the timing on these things, just you just listen to this song. Um, it's a mix of 16th notes and 8th notes. You're going to go back down to the 11th fret again. Play 13, and then jump down to 9, and then 11. And you're going to slide down, and then there's a rest there. And then we slide up into the 14th, same string. Uh, just jumping up and down the scale on one string. until there when you jump down. So for that part, you're gonna play uh, 14, and then 14, 16, 18, and then 14 again, 16, 14 again. Excuse me, not 14, you end with that 13 of that part. And then we're gonna switch to the G string, play 13 there. So all together. And then end with, so you're back down to the 11th fret on the G, uh, B string and playing uh, 11, 13, 14. <laughs> yeah, and then 14 again. So all together, and then the whole thing repeats, so. That's the verse. Okay, so now we go into the pre-chorus, which is essentially a variation on uh, the melodies from the introduction. So that's gonna go like this. Sorry. 
So it's almost identical. Um, one subtle difference is in the intro we went. Here we're not doing the staccato. We are gonna let it, we're gonna hold the note out. So, so but just to review, 10th fret, 10th fret again. Jump up to the ninth fret on the B string. Do that little hammer, uh, pull off, sorry. Yeah. Eighth fret, hammer on to nine. Pull off to eight again. And then you're gonna play eight, 10 on the G string. And then one little difference here is instead of going, we're doing, So you're throwing a little, uh, you're gonna play the 11th on the D string, just like you did before in the intro, but you're gonna uh, pull off to 10 and then hammer back onto 11. Okay? And then you play. So 10, eight on the G and then uh, 11, 10 on the D, eight again on the G. And then 11, 10, yeah. uh, then 11, 10, 6 on the D. You can also do 11, 10, 11 on the A, but depends on if you like using your pinky or not. <laughs> uh, so there's that, that's the pre-chorus. And then for the chorus, you're gonna wanna uh, make like Kirk Hammett and throw on your wah pedal. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing a series of uh, whole step bends, half step bends, and some vibrato. So all together, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, um, that and that repeats. Uh, so the way you do this is you're gonna go, uh, this is, all again, all on your B string. You're gonna to go to the 16th fret. You're gonna do a whole step bend. Uh, and while I'm doing that, I'm pressing the wah. I'm not gonna go into details about how to use the wah to make it sound like the way it does on the recording here. You just need to listen and mess around with it. But it's a lot of, you're not doing like, you're not doing like that fast Kirk Hammity thing. You're doing like a more slow. You, using the wah to blend with the bend. So you're bending up a whole step on the 16th. And then when you get to the top, throw a little bit of vibrato on it. And then you're just gonna play 16 with some vibrato. None of that mosquito. <laughs> Don't do that, just keep it like a wide, uh, expressive, open, you know, vibrato. So then we're gonna play again, uh, 19 with some vibrato. And then jump down to uh, 13. You're gonna do another uh, whole, I think it's a whole step bend. No, it's a half step bend, sorry. Half step bend up. And then release, release. And then play 13 with some vibrato. So all together. Okay, that's the chorus, and I think the whole uh, phrase repeats four times. Okay, so then after the chorus, we go into this quick, folky, like classic power metal, um, fast picking uh, break, I guess you'd call it. Okay, so uh, breaking that down slowly, you're, for most of this, you're, you're on your B and high E string. You're gonna start at the 11th fret on the B string, and then you're gonna jump up to the E string and play. So that is uh, nine, 11, 13, back down to nine, thir uh, 11, and then eight. 
So all together. Okay, then we're gonna jump back down to the 11. And then you're gonna play. So for that, I don't know if you can see what I did there. I'm jumping, then I'm jumping up to play the same note with my pointer finger so that when I play this part, I'm in a good position. I don't have to slide really quickly later. So, so for that part, it's 11 and then is 11, 13, 15. Jump up to the E string, play 11 again, and then jump back down to the B string and play 13 again. So, so all together. Okay, and then it repeats. Excuse me. <laughs> then at the end, it does, it changes a little bit. So we're starting at 11 on the B again, playing 13, uh, 14 again. But then we jump down to the G string and play uh, 14th fret before jumping back up to our root note, the uh, 11th fret here on the B string. So the whole thing, Okay, all right, the next part, uh, so we go into, uh, I guess this would be considered the second verse, even though it's totally different, uh, or you could call this a bridge, I don't know, this song has a odd structure. <laughs> um, but essentially we're playing the same chords, the uh, same chord progression from the intro, except not as three string power chords, we're playing them as muted, um, the palm muted two string power chords. So before we had, This time the riff is like this. The, the entirety of this is just a two string power chord with your root and your fifth. Palm muted the whole time. And then you're gonna basically um, do this quick 16th note uh, pattern. So uh, slowly, So we're starting yet just like in the intro at the sixth fret on the low E string. Then you're gonna chug on that, <laughs> dugga dugga da. So, and then do it again, and then jump down to the fourth fret just like in the intro. Back up to the sixth. Sorry, not up to the sixth. You jump to the third fret on the A. Fourth fret. Do that, dugga dugga da. Twice, uh, sorry, three times. I guess it is only twice. So, um, the, so that whole riff from the beginning. And then it repeats. Um, so slowly, again. And then at the end there, I'm just playing, you just play the power chords open, third fret and fourth fret of the A string. And then kind of, I finish it with a slide down. So it's not just, I think it sounds a little better and more accurate with the slide. Okay, the next riff uh, after that part is done uh, is what I call the German riff. I don't know why, but it just sounds German to me. Um, and this is a German band we're dealing with, but this is probably 
one of the best riffs in the song. And it's very, it's got a lot going on musically, which I won't get into too much, but it sounds like this. Okay, so we're working with a series of regular uh, two-string power chords, two-string inverted um, fifth power chords, and one uh, inverted, I guess it's an inverted minor third dyad, um, which typically you don't hear in power metal, but it works incredibly well here. So uh, bit by bit here, the first part, you're gonna start with your two finger power chord shape on the eighth fret of the A string. Play it again. But then you're gonna hold down that power chord and then hammer on with your pinky on the D string to the 11th fret. So you get, that's that inverted minor third dyad, which does not sound power metal at all, but it sounds great here. It works. So you're gonna do, and then go back, you release and go back to that regular power chord. Okay, next. So you're just gonna play just the single note, 11th fret of the A string. And then we're gonna do an inverted power chord. So that's one finger. That is uh, eighth fret on the A and D string. And then you're gonna play that dyad, that minor third dyad again. So first finger, eighth fret of the A string, fourth finger, 11th fret of the D string. And then resolve to the power chord, the regular power chord again at the eighth fret. Uh, I think I missed something in there, sorry. So there is another inverted power chord there at the 11th fret of the A string. You bar over with your uh, pinky to play the 11th fret of the D string as well. So uh, yeah, I was I was wrong there. You don't play the the minor minor third dyad again. You go. Sorry. So two inverted power chords and the ending on the regular power chord. All right, and then we're gonna do that beginning part again. That whole part is the same, but then we play for the second time, which that is instead an inverted power chord starting at the eighth fret on the D string. So you're gonna bar to the eighth fret on the G string as well. And then you're gonna play that inverted power chord, which is uh, the 11th fret in the A, 11th fret in the D. And then the whole thing repeats uh, all over again. So I'm just my light here. It's okay. And then one more thing I'll mention, just like in the intro, I'm throwing a little bit of Tony Iommi style vibrato on those power chords when you resolved when you resolve to that that chord because I think it spices it up and it sounds better than just going in my opinion and you can sort of hear that a little bit on the recording I think they're doing that too um, okay so after that riff um, we jump back to what was the verse before <laughs> so we're gonna do not going to go over that again it's the, it played identically to the first verse okay so after that uh we go into another pre-chorus which is different from the pre-chorus that was played before which is cool it's got this major key vibe that i'm was not used to um <laughs> uh, but it goes something like this Okay, so that you're gonna um, you're gonna be 
all over the, the strings. You play, this is across four strings, I believe. So you start uh, 14th fret of the B string, jump up to the E and play. So that's 13, 14, 16. Uh, then play 14, 13. So then you're gonna jump back down your B string and play. So that's uh, 14, 16. Hold that with some vibrato. And then 14, 16 again. But this time the 16th fret you bend up. A whole step and then release. And then play the 14. So that's that all together. And then you're gonna jump down to the G string, 13th fret, you're gonna play this. So that is 13, 15, uh, 18, 18, 15, 13, 11, 13. All on the same string, at least that's how I do it. So, so far all together. Okay, then we're gonna do. So kind of going up the scale across, uh, across the strings, two notes per string. So you start on 15 of the G, then you're gonna play 13, 14 on the B, and then 11, 13 on the E. Uh, yeah, so you gotta kinda do that progressive palm muting thing that uh, Ben Eller, who's fan phenomenal here on YouTube, you should check him out if you haven't. Um, you keep your palm advancing as you play that lick to keep the strings beneath from ringing out. Uh, okay, so all together. See there, I didn't do it and I got a bum note. <laughs> and then end on the 14th there. And then I think it repeats one more time. And then we go right back to the chorus, play it identically as before with the wah and everything. So I'm not gonna go over that again. Um, so after the second chorus, uh, we go into a bridge, starts off with the wah pedal still engaged and you're gonna play. Okay, so for that, um, you start on the G string, 15th fret, and then you're gonna play 16th fret, uh, B string with a bend, whole step. And then you go back down, play the 16th with some vibrato. Okay, then you're gonna jump uh, down to, to play. So that is, um, 14, 13, sorry, 14, 13 on the B, and then 15 on the G. So all together. Okay, and then for the last bit. So for that, E string, 10th fret, and then 12th fret, bend up, Release, brought with some vibrato. It's a half step bend, by the way. Okay, and then we're gonna do a quick, uh, you play 10 again, hammer on to 12, pull off to 10, and then play the uh, 14th on the B. Okay. 
All right, and then it repeats. That's it for that. All right, so the next part of the bridge goes like this. Okay, so the wah's off now, as far as I can tell on the recording. And during, live, they play the whole song with wah. <laughs> but on the recording, it's only, as far as I can tell, it's only used in a couple parts. Um, but so for that next uh, riff, you're starting on the D string, eighth fret, uh, then you put, pick 11th fret, jump up to the G string, that's uh, 10, 11, 10. So all together. And then back down to the G string, finish with 11, 8. And then it repeats, so. And then you rest, then repeat. Rest. Okay, and then the next part, you jump up to, that is uh, 13th, yes, 13th fret on the G string. Then jump down and play 13th fret on the uh, D string. Jump back up to the G string and play. So that is, uh, let's see, 10, 11, 13. So all together. Uh, and then you do this quick legato phrase. So the way I'm doing that is I'm picking 11 on the G, hammer on to 13 on the G, pull off back to 11 on the G, and then pull off yet again to 10 on the G. <laughs> Sorry. So, and then ending with just uh, 13 on the D vibrato. So that, that quick legato part again. You're picking once and then hammering and pulling off to do. Okay. And then finishing with, and then it repeats. All right, so that's the bridge. Uh, now the solo. Um, the solo's got a lot going on. Uh, so we'll break it down into chunks. Uh, here's the solo. Kind of weird playing it unaccompanied, but it is what it is. <laughs> Okay, all right, so bit, one bit by bit. The first bit is this. Okay, so the first little lick of that. You're gonna start on your E string and play. So that's uh, 13, pull off to 11. Then you're going to go down to your B string and play. So that's uh, 14, pull off to 13. Pick 11. And then go back up to the E string and pick 11. And then you're going to play 13 again on the uh, B string. I think I messed up there. Sorry, I got... <laughs> There's more notes than I can keep track of. All right, so we got the... Okay, so that's, again, 13, pull off to 11 on the E, 
14 on the B, pull off to the 13 on the B. All right, then you're gonna play. No, you're not, sorry, I'm wrong again. Okay, so we got, I was right about that, but then you, you do the pull off uh, sequence again. Same notes as before, so 13, 11, and then uh, 14, 13 on the B. And then you play uh, 11 on the B, 11 on the E, and then 13 on the B, and then 13 on the G. And I think I'm economy picking that transition. Let me, uh, let me do it again so I can <laughs> uh, remember. No, it's not, it's just up, down. Oh no, it is economy, okay, sorry. So let me slow that down so you can see the picking. It's a mix of legato and that one little economy bit there. There. Okay, and then we're gonna go back up to 11 on the B. You're gonna play this quick alternate pick sequence. So that is 11, uh, 13, 14, and then 11, 13 on the E. So all together. Okay. And then it's gonna do this. So it repeats, but at the end, instead of doing, you're gonna do. So again, the repeated part. And then this goes. So for that, you're playing 16, pull off to 14 on the E string. And then you're gonna jump down to the B, play 14, hammer on to 16 and then jump back up to the A and play 13. Okay, so that whole section from the beginning, slowly. So after that, we're gonna jump to this phrase. So to do that, you're gonna start on, you're gonna start with, so that's uh, 13 on the G, 14 on the D, back to 13 on the G, and then, oops, sorry. So that, is on the B string, that's 12, hammer on to 14, pull back off to 12. Okay. Sorry, you pick it twice and then you do the hammer on sequence. And then you're gonna pick 11 on the B string. And then go back to 13 on the G. So all together. Okay, and then you're gonna do. So that's again, 13 on the G, 14 on the D, 13 again on the G, and then on the B string, you pick 11, 12, 11, hammer on to 12, pull off to the 11, and then pick 11 on the G. And then the whole thing repeats over again. Okay. 
So from the beginning. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to a phrase that's very reminiscent of the first lick. So the way you're doing this is you're starting at nine on the B, and then you're gonna jump up to the E and uh, play 11, pull off to nine. Do a better job not letting the notes bleed together like I just did. Okay, then you're gonna do. So that's 12, 11, nine on the B. And then you do 9, 11, 12 on the B. Just, uh, back up the scale and then you play nine on the E. And then you do again. So that part, nine on the B, uh, 11 on the E, pull off to nine again. And then 12, 11, nine on the B, and then nine on the E, uh, 11 on the uh, B, and then 11 on the G. Okay, so and I, I just remembered there's an, I'm doing another economy pick there at the end from the 11 on the uh, B to the 11 on the G. So let me. Okay. All right, so all together with the rest of the solo. Sorry. Okay, then we're gonna move into this quick pattern that goes like this. Sorry. Okay, so to start this off, you're on the B string, you play, uh, you pick 11, 12, 11, sorry, 12, 11, 12, and then 14, and then 12, 11, 12 again. So, and then pick 11 one more time. Jump down and play 11 on the G string. Play 11 again on the B string. But then jump down and play 13 on the G. Okay, and then you're gonna play that again, but I jump up to play it with my first finger so that I can do this quick run. Okay, so that is uh, 13, 15, 16, and then 14, 16 on the B. So on the G, uh, thir 13, 15, 16, 14, 16 on the B. It's the minor scale. Okay, so that whole thing all together. And then you're gonna do this uh, this next section, which goes. Hang on. Okay, so for the beginning, you're gonna uh, pick up right where you left off when you did. You're gonna play. Uh, that's 16. Pull off to 14. And then you're gonna go down to the G string and pick uh, 16. You're gonna pull off to 15, pull off to uh, 13. Sorry, I think I actually play like this. So I'm picking 16, 15, and then pulling off to 13. And then you're gonna play uh, 13, uh, 15. 
and then with a pinch harmonic and a bend on the 15. So. And then you're gonna go. So really quickly alternate pick through uh, 16, 15, 13, and then on the D string, 16, 14. So all together. Okay, then you're gonna jump down to the G string and play nine, 11, and then play a uh, bend and pinch harmonic there on the 11. And then release. Okay, and then you're gonna, so uh, then you're all together, we'll do. Sorry, that was just bad. Okay, and then you're gonna do this uh, quick phrase. Hang on. So a lot of a lot of alternate picking, a little bit of economy picking. So we're gonna do. So that's on the B string, 12, 11, 9, and then 11, 12 again, and then 9 on the E string. Back down to the B string, I think, hang on, I was wrong, yeah, yeah, B string, 11, so, then you're going to play 11th fret on the G string, this is where the economy pick comes in again. Okay, and then you go back up to the 11 on the B string, and then you're gonna do. So that is 12, 11, 9 on the B string, 11 on the B string, and then um, 11, 13 on the B, uh, G string. So all together. Okay, so the whole, we're almost done. From the beginning of the solo. Okay. All right, the last bit of the solo. Okay, so you start on the G string, uh, eighth fret, pick to nine, then pick to 11. Go back to eight, and then jump down to the D string and play. So that's nine, 11. And then jump up. I take my first finger, jump up to 11 on the G string. So I play 11, 13, 11. So all together. Okay, then you're gonna do this again. But instead of going, you end with, So that is eight, nine, uh, six on the G string. So that whole section together, slowly. And then it repeats. And that's the solo. Um, so after the solo, it goes back into 
a verse, but it's got it's, it's got a key change. So we're playing, remember this melody that we played? And now we're playing it down here. Sorry. Actually there. <laughs> So this time, uh, we're almost entirely on the B string again, but we're going to do 9, 11, 12, 9, 9, 11, 12. Back to 9, 11, and then 7, 9. Slide down, rest. Okay. Then we're going to jump up to 12. So 12, 14, 16. 12, 14, 11, and then 11 on the G. Sorry. I almost made it major there. It's minor. I think. And then, so that's 9, 11, 12 on the uh, B. So all together. Slowly. Okay, and then it repeats. And then we go into this, another folky riff um, that goes like this. Okay, so this is going to have some uh, 16th note picking. Um, you're basically pedaling off the uh, 12th fret and the B. Uh, you start with, so you play 16th on the B, and then immediately go to the 12th and play that however many times. <laughs> uh, just listen to the recording to get the timing right, but it's... I think it's a beat and a half. And then you do, so same thing, but then the 14th fret on the B, back down to that tremolo picked uh, 12th fret. Okay. And then after that you do this, uh, this folky, So that starts on the B string, 16th to 14th, uh, sorry, 14th to 16th, back to the 14th, my bad. Jump down to the G string to play 16, 15, and then jump down a little bit on the uh, G string to play uh, 13, 11. Okay. And the rhythm and timing there is uh, just listen to the recording, play along with the recording, you'll get it. It's not. Okay, that's what gives it that, that folky feel. And then I think that repeats a few times. So the last time, you don't do, you do. So that's, is that's the same. That's 14, 16, 14 on the B. And then uh, 16, 15 on the G, back up to the 14th on the B. And the reason we're going back there is because we're about to transition back into the first pre-chorus lick i played identically as before which starts on the you remember that one so that riff with the transition
played identically as before, so um, I'm not gonna go over that again, but this is the same as the first pre-chorus. And then we jump into the final chorus, which is played uh, identically as the previous two choruses, so I'm not gonna go over that again. Um, and then after that, um, it goes into the outro, which goes like this. Okay, I made a little mistake in there, but we'll iron it out. <laughs> okay, so you're starting um, on the G string. So that is 10th uh, fret G string. And then you're gonna pick 10th fret again. And you're gonna do this trill onto the 11th fret. Basically hammering on the 11th fret, pulling off to the 10th fret all on the same string. And then, um, I think that's how many times you do it. Yep. And then you're gonna play, maybe it's only twice. You gotta just listen to the recording and play along to get the timing. But you finish on that note, which is the 13th on the G. Okay? Then you're gonna jump down to the D string. No, you don't, sorry. You jump down on the G string to the sixth. I was wrong, I'm so wrong. All right, sorry, so I was right about this. Then you play 10 again, 11. Then you jump down and play 11 on the D. Okay, go back up to the G string and do this uh, phrase again. Okay, but this time instead of going back down to the D, you go up to the B and play. Uh, 11 on the B instead of uh, 11 on the D from before. Then you end with. So we're on the D string, 11, 13, and then on the G string, 10, 11, and then eight on the G string. Okay, so. So it repeats through once. And then we do this variation that goes like this. So you're again, 10th fret of the G. But instead of doing that little trill, you just do. So that's one hammer on to 11 and then a pull off back to 10. Okay. And then you're gonna do so you go down to the D, play 13, 11, with vibrato, uh, and then back down to the eight, on D, the D with vibrato. Repeat this phrase again. Okay, so all together. Then you're gonna do. So that is on the D, you do uh, 11, 13. On the G, 10, 11. End with an eight. Repeat this uh, again. You hold that. end with that. So that is, again, 10, hammer on to 11, pull off to 10 on the uh, G. Go back down to the D, play. So 
So that's 13, 11, 13, 10, 8. So the whole outro from the beginning. And that's Mirror Mirror. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope this was helpful. This is my first time ever doing a lesson video, so please feel free to leave any feedback on how I should do these differently or the same or whatever in the future, and I'm happy to do more of these. Uh, that was fun. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, happy shredding.